Welcome to another lesson in Adobe Illustrator. Today we're going to be talking about what it takes to um, take apart your live painted cartoon characters so that you could swap the heads out from one to the other. So here we have our two of our finished drawings and what I would do first is when you're completely done and make sure you have everything just right, everything just the way you want it, you should uh, select your characters that you have drawn and you should make a copy of them. All right, so Command C, Command V them, and I would put them off, and you see I have copies everywhere on my screen around here, and put them off somewhere else on your screen uh, to work. You wanna make sure that you keep the original drawings set those in uh, with the uh, characters that have their um, swapped heads. So some important steps include um, if you use live paint to make these objects, you need to release the live paint or actually you're going to just expand the object. So here's Kim Possible and she was, uh, she was drawn and uh, with live paint and here's um, Phineas and we're going to end up taking Phineas's head off and putting it on Kim Possible's body. So I have, uh, we'll start with Phineas because he's the easier of the selections. So I move them apart to make my selections easier later. So the other characters do not get in the way. So I have Phineas selected. I'm going to go to Object, Expand. And this is where you will uh, kind of turn off the live paint and it'll actually work more like it was drawn as shapes. So Object, Expand, dot, dot, dot. If, ex if Expand is not lit up and Expand Appearance is, you will select Expand Appearance first and then go back in to Expand, dot, dot, dot. I really don't know what... Um, the difference is as far as what's going on in Illustrator. All I need to know is I need to get to expand dot dot dot, which means it's going to open up another window. Do I want to expand uh, object, fill, or stroke? Yes, I do. I click OK. And that's the reason why we're using expand is to get this out of its live paint mode back into shapes that can be selected. Okay, so if I'm going to take this um, head off, I'll put it on to Kim Possible's body. I need a selection of his head. Now when you expand something, your chances are you're going to have to ungroup it. So to object ungroup, notice I'm going to ungroup it once. I go back to ungroup again. You might have to ungroup it three or four times. This time I only had to ungroup it twice. And now I can make selections of uh, the shapes that are in Phineas's head. Each shape that's here, including what used to be the strokes, are their own shapes. So and or, um, what I like to do is actually just take, uh, make a selection of more than what you need, and then I'll make a copy of that. So now it's it's Phineas's head along with some other stuff that just happened to be a part of the selection. So what I could do is I could select those things, and you can either use the black arrow or the white arrow. It's up to you, and I can get rid of all this other stuff that I don't want anymore. And now I've kind of isolated. Uh, Phineas's head. Now these white dots were part of his eyes that I drew after and they weren't grouped with that. So I'm not going to really worry too much. We have um, Phineas's head isolated out. And then um, again too, if you want to take this off of the body to uh, uh, Kim Possible's head on this body later on, I could just hit delete and I could start to get rid of Pieces. Now I'm using white arrow, so I'm getting rid. Oh, I don't want to get rid of the arm. That was silly. So let's go and undo. And I'm going to just select parts of his head and hit the twice. And I'll do the same thing here. Okay, good. Now I'm down to the parts that of Phineas are separated into um, two different pieces. I'm going to take this. These Remember, these are ungrouped, so you might want to group them, especially if you're going to be moving around a lot. So I'm just going to group that being a movie over here. Okay, Kim Possible is going to be a, uh, a difficult character to deal with because of the way the hair goes behind uh, her grappling gun. And select Kim Possible, remember the first thing we have to do is go to Object, Expand. So I go to Object, Expand, not lit up. So I'm going to hit Expand Appearance. Now I go back to Object, Expand and click OK for everything and then I'm going to ungroup it and ungroup it again and ungroup it again and that's good okay so I'm going to select 
everything that makes up her head and if you want you could take more than you need but I think I can get the selection like that there's also uh, parts of the hair down here which I notice now is not colored the right way um, that you could select and I'm having a hard time making selection so I'm going to put some a little bit or I could just just kind of forget about that okay so now I'm going to hit um, Command X to get that out of there. And I notice I am now missing a piece. So let me undo. So let's go with this. All right, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna select, I'm gonna select more than I need. This is the best way to do it. And then I'm gonna copy and paste it. Now it's kind of isolated. So you can see it took way more than I needed. So now I'm gonna start selecting the parts I don't want and getting rid of them. And, and now Kim Possible's hair becomes an issue it goes behind her hands in the original picture and the grappling gun is also an issue, but I don't want them to be part of my Phineas person so all the thing is a little tedious but once I get that all squared away I can then move this into place so it takes a second and oops always undo and then once I get this, what I need, I can move the Phineas's body up. All right, so what am I going to do with the neck? I'm not sure yet. So that's going to, uh, we're going to figure that out when I bring the body up. So his body, bring this up. Looks like I missed the piece. Make sure In fact, I'm just going to get rid of this for now. So let's group that. So it doesn't come apart again, and I'm gonna bring this up. So her seeing the wrong way to the body, right? So that's a little bit weird. So I can do two things. I can either swap, switch the body to the way, or I can switch her head back. So being that this is this group, uh, switch body. So I'm gonna double click on the reflect tool, which is in the same box as the rotate tool, and I'm just gonna hit OK. And now that did the other side. So I'll move this into. And I will bring this to the front. So now to the front of the front. I kind of like the way the hair is short like this. So I might have to draw strips to fill in the hair later on. But I also have to deal with this neck thing going on here. So how are you going to do this? Well, white arrow is going to be your best situation. So I want to select this shape here and bring down this line. Now I'm lucky in that. The skin tone on these two characters is exactly the same. I'm going to use us here. If they aren't, then I'd have to make a decision as to recoloring one or the other skin tone so you have matching skin tone throughout. Like if you see their legs or their arms or something like that, you might need to uh, go in and change that. So I'm using tools we learned before, like point tool, plus tool, like that, to kind of redraw these shapes to get that to look a little better. Now, the work to do it. But at least it's kind of like off and started and the neck is starting to look a little bit better. Okay. If this body maybe she needs to go down a little bit more. I kind of like that if that line is matching up there. So I have to, you know, redraw this shape a little bit. And then, you know, you can always like send things to the back if other shapes aren't in the way that you can, you know, kind of sweep it up a little bit by moving that, sending that to the back and filling in going to look now I have to fix the back of the hair I have to kind of figure out what's going on in here so you know this is where the creative part of the project comes in your ability comes to play is you know how are you going to deal with you know fixing up this pro this project here and making this kind of all work out okay so this is going to look good if I bring these uh, lighter orange stripes in here change the color of these gray do that orange it could work out in the end okay going to be uh that's going to be fine um, getting this head on this body should be a little bit easier to deal with i guess with white arrow and i can just start getting out some areas here all right get rid of everything i need to get rid of with with the white arrow tool and there's a couple more pieces in there but i'm not gonna worry about that this was grouped so that's nice and easy Bring this down. I can send this to the back. I probably have a little bit of work to do around the collar again. 
okay? So this is like white stuff here to make this come all the way across. And maybe this will be filled in here a little bit. There are curves in here, so that's going to cause a little bit of a problem. But overall, that should work out uh, pretty nicely if I get this in the right spot. Okay, so there's still a little bit of stuff to finagle in there, but it's not too shabby. If is that if you don't want the head looks okay like that, will it look better going the other way? Well, there's only way to want to find out is just click on it and see if that works. So that's gonna look pretty good. Okay, so object expand to get rid of the live paint, and it's a lot of copying and pasting white arrowing. I've made like copies of these just in case I screw these up to go back and fix up a little. If you have another character, like here's the Deadpool I drew. You know, you got some more things to think about, like, are you going to make, if I put Kim Possible's head here, am I going to make her head red to match, or her hair black to match? You know, you might have some things like that to the characters. All right, so have fun with this project. I hope um, this was a helpful video for you guys, and it should turn out to be a fun, funny project.